You see, I never walked in the streets. I never walked. I always danced. I found dancing much more pleasurable than walking. I had a fairly tough time in, 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 in the Air Force because I didn't march. I, I danced. <laughs> I danced. <laughs> I was doing a little show at a tiny theatre of St. Martin's Lane and uh, David Bowie was in the audience one night as a 19-year-old boy. He came to my dressing room and uh, he was like a, the Archangel Gabriel standing there. I was like, you know, Mary. I didn't fall on my knees <laughs> at that time. And uh, I it was love at first sight. He expressed the desire to work with me, to learn from me. And at the time I was teaching dance classes at the Dance Centre in Covent Garden, so he enrolled the following day. Oh, Harlequin, you're quite an exception. Play trooper dog on the downer. Kemp and Bowie became lovers and toured Kemp's production of the Piero in Turquoise, which was later adapted for TV. He told me that uh, he'd met me just in time because he was on his way up to Scotland. He'd been studying Buddhism for several years, quite seriously, and was considering uh, taking his vows and becoming a monk. He did declare later on, well, Lindsay saved me from having my head shaved. And quitting the business, was that Oh, and what he quitting was the business. Mm. Yeah, he wasn't getting anywhere. He was certainly a multifaceted, a chameleon, a splendid, a shining, always inspired creature. I mean, a genius of a creature. But I did show him how to do it. There's a star man waiting in the sky. Kemp collaborated with Bowie on the stage show of Ziggy Stardust, which was the making of the singer, though by then their relationship had ended. There was a woman involved. My best friend, needless to say, you know, just like in the mags. And um, it was extremely upsetting. She was my best friend. I uh, foolishly and rather theatrically and not too seriously uh, attempted to cut my wrists, you know. I kind of scratched them and was taken to the hospital and the doctor looked at the, put a bit of sticking plaster and said to me, don't be so daft. David well, it wasn't was in wasted. tears, you know. And, and Natasha, oh, I've given her name away. <laughs> my best friend. Uh, I had taken a handful of sleeping pills. Uh, she was more fortunate than me. She, she was revived by a fireman, uh, as, I, <laughs> as I remember. Kiss of life. Bad luck. Another willing pupil of Kemp's was Kate Bush, though at first he had no idea who she was. Modest as she was, she was always at the back and I was forever having to pull her forward. But once she started moving and improvising, she was dynamic. And one evening returning to my, my house in, in Battersea, there was a, a, a record shoved under the door, the kick inside. And on the record there, there was a, a song moving, which he wrote and this is dedicated to you. It was a very moving uh, experience because I didn't even know that she, you know, that she, she was a singer. His protégés have gone on to great things, but Kemp is happy just to be on stage performing mime or dance, whether it's at RADA this week or the long ago Soho strip clubs, where he once worked under the billing Lindsay Kemp Mimes His Own Business. I worked in some of those uh, striptease clubs. Well, what was that like? Oh, well, it was a joy. I mean, I love the girls so much. For me, it's all part of, uh, of my world of uh, 
entertainment. It was thrilling in those days. It looked good, it smelled good, and, and it was just full of, uh, of remarkable characters. And the tea rooms, I believe, are still there, chez Valerie, etc., etc., where we enjoyed, if we had the money to enjoy uh, eclairs, they're delicious eclairs I would treat myself to from time to time. Are you aware of the phenomenon of Strictly? over there in Italy. It's wonderful that uh, England started dancing again because there was a lull after the Demise of Morris dancing, you know. Where do you stand on Morris dancing? A lot of people won't have it. That famous phrase, I'll try anything except Morris dancing and incest. <laughs> well, I don't think I've tried incest yet, but Morris dancing is I love, love Morris dancing. <laughs>